Hillbilly DVD Reviews Unboxing Series. Today we're coming to you with Thor 2, The Dark World. Thor, The Dark World, whatever they want to call it. We all know it's Thor 2. They ain't fooling nobody. Yeah, had this sitting on the shelf for a little while. Finally had to hanker in to rewatch the movie, so it's about time to bust it out. Sorry if this unboxing's come two years too late for it to be any relevant, but fuck it, man. It's, it's still a really cool steelbook. Alright, shrink wrap is off. This is the... Uh, I guess the Best Buy slash Future Shop version. Um, there's like a kimchi one with I think it's like the same cover. I don't know if the insides are all the same, but yeah, this is the uh, Best Buy Future Shop version. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Best Buy claims it's exclusive to them. Future Shop claims it's exclusive to them. But wink, wink, they they were both owned by the same company. I think Future Shop's actually out of business now. Best Buy closed them all. But here you have the, the Marvel collectible packaging the back of the card with the UPC there. Let's get a better look here. This is interesting because it's kind of like a matte finish but there's some steely areas showing so it kind of gives some shine. You know, I like it. It kind of gives a 3, 3D kind of pop to Thor there. This part is uh, pushed in, embossed I guess you could say. Really nice detail. Really nice. Even the little Marvel logo is pushed in there. Typical spine here but what's cool is Thor's cape coming all around. On the back here we have uh, portraits of um, three of the main characters, Loki, Jane, Odin. Um, I think, the ki actually I know the kimchi uh, version came with like a translucent slip that actually had holes in the back so that you could like see that come out through the slip cover. Uh, the, you know, Best Buy Future Shop version didn't come with that but, you know, still, still cool looking there. Alright, here we go. Typical Best Buy. Future shop fucking, I don't know, sloppy bullshit. They love to do this shit where they, um, they did this way back when they had an exclusive line of a Disney Steelbooks. They would take ones that were two discs, put them in one disc. They, they'd have one disc holder and one in a paper sleeve. This one, obviously, there's a, it's a two disc set because it comes with the Blu-ray and the Blu-ray 3D. But, um, these fuckers put it in a three, three disc set. Just their typical slop bullshit. You get an advertisement for this box set, which I actually have, which is Phase 1 box set. And a bunch of other advertisements for Disney junk here. But here we have these blue-ass, boring discs that Disney likes to do. Uh, let's pop them out. Obviously the Blu-ray 3D, 2D blur. Inside artwork, again, janked up by fucking Future Shop slash Best Buy. And it's kind of a shame too because they could have either just put the disc here and then let you see this artwork or they could have, you know, but fuck, they're, they're stupid as fuck. Here you have Malekith, really cool villain in this film, I really like it. My major complaint with this film is they didn't showcase him enough. Um, here you just have like basically the poster with everybody in it, Jane, Thor, Loki, Odin, everybody in the background. So yeah, that's it man for the slightly janked up version. I think what I'll do here is... Uh, put both discs on this side. A little disappointing that they janked up the number of discs, but I guess in the end, it ain't that big of a deal. So that's it for Thor the Dark World, Marvel, Best Buy, whoever, get your fucking shit together.